Here I am. I'm on top of the cliff at, at uh, the cave. There's the radio right up there. And then here's me. I just got done smoking a bowl. <laughs> up there. I love it back here, man. No, nobody ever comes back here, dude. Nobody ever comes from this side. That's the song. To yeah. To go to like little path. I guess that's a deer path. I don't know. I don't know. I, it's cool having a camera on your phone. You can just fucking pull your phone out and make a video whenever. You know, pretty cool. Caves down here. Oh shit. Caves right here. Down there. I might even walk down there. Years ago you could climb down right here. Or you could go over there and just go down, but I wouldn't do that now. Yeah, it's beautiful, man. You got the radio playing, man. And then you got the creek down here. It looks green in the wintertime. It's cool. Because everything else is brown. In the summertime, when everything's green, the water looks brown. Gotta go. Sorry about that one. I had a little visitor that I wasn't expecting. I had to put my grass away. It was sitting out. A kid on a skateboard. He says, I can hear your music all the way down the road, man. I sit and I say, I hear you, man. What else is I supposed to say? Music fills the air. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm high as a kite right now, man. This is what I do. I just have fun. I trust in God to guide me to wherever he feels as though I belong. And then I just walk down the path. Wherever that path may be and wherever it may lead to, I believe that's the path that God has guided me to. Check out this green moss, man. I mean, like, check out how yellow it is. That is so fucking cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never see moss like that in the city. Look over here. All the way around, man. Look at the big, beautiful pine tree. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Having a camera on your phone is cool. No wonder they put it on here. I never noticed it. There's that kid again. He's going the other way. He seems cool, though. He's got a helmet on and all. He cares about himself in case if he cracks his head. I've done made that mistake a couple times, falling off the bicycle and cracking my head. Oh, yeah. Crashed into a few trucks. Got hit by a car one time. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I'm still alive. Check out this radio, man. I have a M3... That red thing goes into the tape. The motor don't play. But the head still amplifies the tape. So it plays fucking music, man. What do you want for two bucks from the flea market? You know what I mean? It's a great little radio.
Slaves to society is what they are, man. They sit in their cars and they stare. They have no clue how to live without money. I have no clue, man. I just, I just want you to be aware of that. They're afraid of the world that's outside of their house. They only come out of their houses to fucking go shopping and go to work. They never come out to enjoy themselves like normal people would. They sit and they judge you. They have a name for every person. They have a label, a category that they are going to stick you in. Me? They call me a dirty, hippie, redneck, scarfer. <laughs> what am I? You tell me. What the fuck am I? They all have a different name for me. Tell me what I am so I know. To me, I'm myself. I am who I am, the person who God made me. But to them... I'm all kinds of bullshit that ain't, it makes no sense to me. I myself don't think I fit in any of them categories. I'm just a person who likes to have fun. I ain't no better than nobody. I ain't no worse than nobody. We're all stuck in this world together. Spirits trapped inside of a body. Think about that for a second. Before you go and judge me, Think about that for a second. We're like robots. Mind, body, and spirit. God has given us a mind that only we can control. A physical body that we physically control to go different places and talk to people. And at the same time, we have the spirit, which is the life that lives with inside of us. Once that spirit leaves the body, the body no longer works, if you realize, and rots away. Your spirit never dies unless you go to hell. As long as you trust in God and you treat people the way that you want to be treated. You know, I think he looks at how you... The message that you spread. I think that's what he looks at. You notice, time, nothing in this world lasts forever. Next world, there's no time. If you have been high to the point where I've been, to where you know that your spirit has left your body, and your brain has taken over control, which is going with the flow. You don't notice any different in the walk, but you're not really there. You know that you are not in this world anymore. You are stuck in your thoughts and stuff that you've never seen before. Stuff that doesn't make any sense. Because when you get high to a certain point, you go through a portal. I was begging God to give me another chance the night when I drank four bottles of cough syrup. I don't know how I stayed alive. I couldn't move. My fucking body was limp. I couldn't open my eyes, dude. When that happens to you, you look at the world around you and you realize the privileges that you
Alright? I'm telling you this for a reason. This life doesn't last forever, and every one of us are going to die. None of us are getting out of here alive. I think we can all agree upon that. Okay? So, while you're here, make the best of your damn life. Don't get caught up in society. Money, my friend, there's a reason why it says in the Bible that money is the root to all evil. People don't know how to live without it anymore. Their life revolves around money. It is their God. Literally. Do you want to live like that? Being a slave to society? To the government? Always having to pay taxes? You really want money to be your... Your king, your God, the only thing you look up to, let it, let me know how far you get. Please, so I know. Because I've never gotten anywhere. And nobody I know has either.